Welcome back beauties. I forgot to record the intro on this video. So in today's video we'll be doing nail dip on short nails. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you like these types of videos. Truly appreciate it and if you want to see how I applied nail dip on very short nails then keep on watching. So we're back in this angle. So we have to blank hand. This hand is not gonna be part of the video. So the main focus is this hand. When I thought about the great idea of um, doing a video on how dip works on short nails. So we have this dip once again so this is the same um, company i used on my last video it is the lavender violet one once again it is not sponsored or paid for or given to me i paid my own money for this own kit so this kit the only difference is that it has sparkle and then they have new packaging which i preferably like so this is the new packet uh the new uh, pack that I got and as you can tell it sparkles so there's a black one there's a silver one there's a white one and there's kind of like a goldish silver one too it does still bring the four steps like the other one had um, this one was also I believe $30 um, so I thought let's do a video on short all right so I've tried a couple of the colors um, I've tried the white one and I've tried a silver one, but I thought this time around I would try their black one. Um, so let me open it up so you can kind of see. Uh, so this is how this one looks. It, they all have sparkle. So I thought, let's try that one today. Um, so. I'm gonna file my nail, not file my nail, I'm gonna bust them real quick. I know. I'm gonna bust them real quick. Alright, so what this does is just kind of gives you a grip to the product. And my nails right now are a little stained because I use the other dip. Um, I kind of got them outside of my nail. I'm still learning, so don't mind that discoloration. It's just the other dip. So I'm gonna show you real quick again what you're supposed to do. So do you use step one, which is the base, and once you have it covered, check to make sure it's not on the any corners. And what are you gonna do? And an angle dip. You wanna go like that. I have a brush which takes off the X's on the back. I will not touch the front yet. I will let that dry. And then once again, I'll show you. Get the brush. You get as close to the cuticle as you can. Corners. I once again get the dip and dip in. Tap out again, flip it, brush off the back excess, and move it away. Next nail. So I'm gonna just do it here. Show you again. So let's see if I can show you what I do. So I grab some, I wipe off almost all of it I'll move it over and I will move close and then kind of rotate my finger on both ends using a darker powder like this one your nail your fingers themselves are going to tend to get a little bit more darker so try to brush it off as quickly as possible um dip again 
So in this nail, I don't know if you can tell, I didn't do everywhere. My brush was a little too dry. So you don't want too much product, but you don't want so little that you can't cover your nail. I love glitter. The only thing with glitter dips is it gets everywhere and then you'll have glitter for days. I have used this kit um, once already. I used the white one. I wanted to see how it looked. Um, it was really, really pretty. I didn't record that video, um, but I can definitely do it. If you want me to, let me know down below. And then last finger is the thumb. So this is just the first coat. So for short nails, you still want to build them up. You probably won't build them as thick as if they were long because the longer they are, the thicker the structure you, the stronger you need it, which means the thicker it's going to be. The smaller it is, you don't need it too strong because you're not gonna be stressing anything out because they're not long, especially the shortness that I have. So I'm still gonna do three coat, three times this process. And so now that I've done the whole hand, I will go ahead and brush off any excess. This will help with any other clumps. So this is how it looks so far. So it's not perfect, you need to do again. What you need to do is just make sure you go all around. So like, you know, you've missed some spots, but this is why you do it multiple, multiple times. This is why you don't do just one dip. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the dip three times. I will look and see how I like it. Um, and I'll be back to show you how I file. All right, beauties. So don't mind the mess and my nails looking a little rough and my fingernails looking a little rough as well. So this is after three coats of the dip. I haven't done anything to it, I haven't filed it. The next step you are going to do is step two, which is the activator. So this one, you can just kind of put it really quickly. So this is a problem. Look, my hands are all colored black now because of the dip. I'm just gonna brush it away a little. All right. So you're gonna get the activator and you're literally gonna go over the whole nail. This just seals this in together so you can go ahead and file. This kind of like finalizes what you've done. But I've gone back after I've done this and added more um, dip just because you may under, you may over file. So I'm gonna go in first with this type of um, nail bit or whatever you wanna call it. This one's more to just buff out any imperfections and just makes it really smooth. All right, so I filed them all. What you're gonna do again is you're gonna go ahead, take step two, and seal that final step. So this is just sealing after you've filed that way. You are good to move to the next step. All right. So this is how they look so far. Once again, don't mind 
the black text to black color I have right now. We will, I will wash my hands after I've done all the filing. I will wash my hands after I've done all the filing so you can see how they look. So before I do the last step, which is step three, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hand only with water, no soap, just to remove all of the powder and all of the excess that we have, all the dip and all the filing. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and I'll be right back. All right, so there you go. My hands are all washed. Now we are gonna do, it's your top coat. So this is after you're done all of your filing. So make sure you don't feel any bumps. So what I do is I just move my hand around my nails if I feel any bumps, I will go in and file again. If not, I will grab my top coat. So this is the step where you're doing one coat, letting it dry, and then doing another coat, and you have to let that dry for two minutes. So. All right, beauties, this is the last step. So this is the first coat on all of them, and you can see the shine, shiny, 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 shiny. So the final product so what I'll do is I'll go ahead wait to dry for two minutes and I am all set so this is how it looks with short nails I personally don't mind it um, and the good thing about this is because they're so short because your nails are so short, you don't have to do much to them. You just let them grow and it will help your nails not chip as they're growing. Just wanted to show you the short nails, dip on short nails. So once again, the product that I used today is the lavender, uh, lavender violet ones, which is the sparkle kit this time around um i personally like it you know there are some cons you have to do that yourself and it really is you know a learning curve but i think it's not bad for an at home dip nail set um i think they're nice once again don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel um i will be uploading different videos um just turn on the notification bell to get notified because i don't have a steady schedule yet so sorry about that but um let me know what kind of other dips you want to see um if you like these type of dips thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one bye